Hey guys, oh look, naked hands. Ooh. Ooh. Hi, um, I just wanted to do a quick um, prelude, no, I don't want to go with that word, introduction to this video um, because I have just posted, or yesterday or today, I don't know what day it is, um, a video for a foil cuff design with foil gel. And then I did say in the video that I wouldn't do it like that, but there was another reason why I did the video for it. Um, and somebody asked me how I would do it. There's a lot of things, a lot of designs that I will do on somebody and then the next time I go to do them, I'll do it a completely different way. Not because I want to try something new or um, I've seen a new technique of doing it. It's literally because I can't remember how I did it the time before um, because my memory is shocking. So as I answered um, this lady's question, I, my brain went blank, so I sort of came up with a, what I thought was a fandangled way of doing a cuff and then thought, actually, no, that's probably a really good way to do it. So I'm going to do a video that way. I may have, I may have done a nail like this before. <laughs> Who knows? I don't. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I thought that you would want an explanation for it either, but um, here is one all the same. On with the video! Well, she was annoying, wasn't she? Um, I am significantly less animated right now. Uh, I'm using Silver Fox Gel Perfection as always. And just creating the shape of the cuff, but sort of in reverse. Um, it's definitely much easier to create the shape this way than to paint it, paint the actual cuff. So we're doing a layer of Silver Fox, just splaying out the brushes, not the brushes, the bristles to create that sort of upside down smile line. And these colors are so opaque, but I will still do two coats. A lot of the colors um, from Gel Perfection are really opaque and you could get away with doing one coat easily, but obviously for gel polish to have the longevity that it's meant to do two coats, especially if it's on a client because you want it to last until their next visit. So that was Silver Fox. It's in the lamp having one minute cure. And this is Platinum, which is an amazing sort of metallic -y. Oh yes, yeah, second coat, second coat. I, I did speak for this video as I was doing it. I mean, if you think I can ramble now, you should have heard. Oh, it was just, I wouldn't shut up. So there are some kind of outtakes or like bloopers, if you want, at the end of this video. So um, stay tuned if you want to laugh at me being a Wally. So I'm doing the second coat of Silver Fox, which has been cured and now using the Platinum. I so said this is another super opaque color. Great for um, detail work. Um, obviously with detail work you only want to do one coat so this is perfect for such things again I do still do two coats so that and the reason being for doing it this way is because the both colors will have the same thickness as each other it won't be the cuff on top of the main color which will end up being four coats and then the main color is two coats so this is both going to be obviously on a person it, you'd have your base coat down and then it's all going to be completely level when you come to the end and having the two coats of the silver fox there is acting like um, a barrier it's like a little wall it's not easy to mess it up um, although I think on this side here I did go over it a bit I think I wiped it off I'm not sure if I've cut that bit though so yes just using that as a border as an outline I find it a lot more difficult to do designs on these pops than I do people's nails because you get to sort of hold their finger and rest your finger on their feet, hands and you know do you know what I mean you know what I mean you know what I mean um, but this is if I ever do a cuff on anyone again this is gonna be how I do it so I'm just um, trying to perfect that line, make it nice and crisp. And then once I've done that, that will have a full cure, a full cure, a full cure. <laughs> I'll put 
put a bit too much on there so I'm just spreading it out obviously gel polish is gonna bubble if you put it in the lamp and it's too thick so making sure it's nice and even and that had a cure and now top now we're done it's that was the easiest way I've ever done a cuff you didn't have to hand paint the cuff you just use the brush to do all the work for you with the um, main color there so a coat of diamond gloss and uh, and then a cure and I do show you in a sec that it is all one level so there's no raised areas or ridges Come on, <laughs> should have sped this up. And there you go. The lighting is awful. I'm not where I, I'm not at my usual desk. The lighting is not that great. Everything looks a bit yellow. But as you can see, obviously the pop has a, a curve in it, but the cuff to polish. Keep still. The cuff to polish. There's no ridge. It's completely smooth and it was super simple to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps with um, doing cuffs it's certainly going to be the way I do it from now on um, all the products are from diamond glitters and gel perfection you can use code team DG for a discount they're bringing out some new spring colors very soon so keep your eyes out for those because I've seen them and they're amazing and I will see you thanks for watching subscribe I'll see you in the next one bye bye, -bye. <laughs> do a second coat first you hooligan and I need some, oh, oh, I have to move. No, I'm not going to do it. Ramp like blood. And this is why we do voiceovers, Joe.